The largest fruit bat in Costa Rica is found roosting in a variety of places, like hollow trees, tunnels, buildings, among foliage, and of course, in caves. This species occurs from southern Mexico through Central America to southern Brazil. It lives in harem groups in clusters up to 20 individuals. Here, a mother is not only taking care of her own baby, but an older and larger youngster of another female. This nanny behavior is common among bats. However, she only provides milk to her own. Wet nannies are too costly. Snakes hunting bats in caves is known from Asia, but not known from Costa Rica. However, this boa is capable of finding a bat colony in a hollow branch. The welcoming committee gets the message across. The bat really doesn't sound like that, but it goes well. This great bat is usually dark brown, but here it's more yellowish from pollen. Happy bat biologist. Its distinctive white facial stripes are very obvious. Thermal imaging shows its strong wing muscles. This bat gives birth to one pup in the dry season and then again to another pup in the wet season. She's got quite a load. Two vital functions of bats in tropical forests are pollination and seed dispersal. One important secondary tree in the neotropics is Cecropia. Bats don't pollinate it, but they do eat its fruit and in the process disperse its seeds. The fruit hangs in such a way that it's easily available for both birds in the day and bats at night. Some bats break off a piece and head to a safer place, but this big fruity eating bat is in no hurry. Some tropical trees produce massive amounts of fruit, some of which falls to the forest floor. This big fruit eating bat uses its nose to locate the fruit. And who in the tropics doesn't like a ripe mango? One characteristic of this species is that it has plenty of fur on its upper uropatagium. It's also known to drink nectar and eat pollen, both of which are offered by the balsa tree.